Yes, Jamaica is a very classy society, very hierarchical. I'm Carolyn Cooper and I'm a professor emerita from the University of the West Indies, Mona, Jamaica. Working class people and their culture tend to be devalued by the elites in the society who enjoy occasional forays into that world but are not prepared to admit that they even enjoy certain kinds of music. I remember one of my friends telling me that she gave a ride to somebody who worked at her office and she was playing some shabarangs on her system and told the fellow, don't tell anybody that I'm listening to this music, you know, she's sort of saying it as a joke, but is really wanting to enjoy the music, but also wanting to maintain the illusion of respectability. So class distinctions are very clear, but you get movements across classes, particularly around the spaces in which people enjoy popular culture, like at dances and so on, uptown meets downtown in these spaces. It is insecurity because we're talking about the legacy of colonialism where we inherited values that told us nothing black, no good. Majority of the people are black, so the majority of us no good. So our language is not good, it's broken English, is corrupt English. It's the language we created out of the African languages that we brought here in our heads, plus the various dialects of English that we were forced to learn. So the problem is that for the elite, Jamaican popular culture is African and for them Africa is negative. So there is this insecurity about recognizing that what is distinctive about Jamaica is exactly what the elite reject because they are so into aping first British and now American culture. So they have contempt for what we have produced. So that is the insecurity. Garvey was one who pushed us to emancipate ourselves from mental slavery. People think that that is an original line from Bob Marley. Marley got it from Garvey. And emancipation from mental slavery is about rethinking what people have told you that is good and bad about your culture and sitting down and saying, no, why is my language bad? Why, is, why am I ugly? Because I'm black and I have to big up my brother Kingsley Cooper and his Pulse Modeling Agency. And he has projected black women on the global stage. They're on the cover of Vogue, they're on the cover of every single magazine of, of substance. And he helped black people to see their beauty. And when you look at the models, some people joke and say, it's pure ugly woman, Mr. Cooper, take and put in a badly. But that is their perception that these women are ugly. They are not, they are beautiful. But I think over time, you know, people are beginning to see that this is our power. So even mainstream advertising agencies, they've been using the language a lot, but now they're actually using dance or culture as to market their products. So you have to say they're getting a little enlightened, but it's a very slow process.